seen you know, posts about it and yeah, I think it's I think it's quite upsetting to be honest, especially when you see someone's an effective activist like you that's done so much good, and then you're struggling with depression. You're trying to do well in life, and I know that's depression's completely unfair. It's not like it's not, and it's so it, it must be so difficult to live with. And I've had bouts of poor mental health, and I get it daily. Like I question my activism all the time, and I'm really really critical of myself. I don't I don't have depression. I'm not saying I have depression, but I know what bad mental health can be like, especially as an activist with the type of people we deal with every day, that the animals that we see suffering every single day, it, it is easy to get into a really dark hole, um, wondering whether you're doing enough, whether you're good enough. Like it is, can be really fucking hard sometimes. Um, so I want to understand your perspective, like your, you know, your experience with depression, what triggers it and what are you doing? What helps, if anything? Um, so you've seen my last mushroom stream, right? I did. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you about that too. So, yeah. So <coughs> I've, I've suffered from suicidal depression since I was probably like four or five years old and I almost killed myself when I was about five or six. Um, and I, I've had suicidal depression pretty much my entire life. Um, I've been trying to understand the source of the depression, um, there's probably like a genetic aspect to it. Um, there's uh, a few people in my family that have committed suicide. I have mental health issues on both sides of my family where there's quite a few people who've had schizophrenia on both my mom and dad's side. So there's probably a genetic aspect to it. But um, the I, I've used uh, psychedelic mushrooms to try to resolve some of the problems that i i have and i think the last mushroom trip i did i had a really huge breakthrough <laughs> now take this with a grain of salt like i did mushrooms what i experienced or felt or discovered could be completely wrong like it is drugs at the end of the day but um i think i found the root of it and uh, I've always had a sense of life being unfair. I've always wanted, I don't know, there to be some sort of end goal, some achievement. I've wanted things to go my way. I felt like I've deserved things. Uh, I felt like other people deserved things that they didn't get. And, um, you know, the life just throws things at you that are completely unfair. and. I, I just could never get a hold of it. Y you know, we're, we're all just aging and we're all going to die. And what is any of this for? Do you get like some sort of achievement at the end of the road? Uh, do you, do you win anything? No. Um, there's just a lot of suffering, a lot of aggravation. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that just piss you off. And you get absolutely nothing for it once you reach the end of the road. And I think I've always had the I've always had the sense that just life itself is unfucking fair. And I could never like I could never handle that unfairness. Mm. And I I realized when I was in the mushroom trip that um life doesn't owe you anything. Um there and a lot of the suffering that you experience is self-imposed you know you can encounter like a karen at a grocery store that's like annoyed at you for parking in like one spot and you could uh, you can fight with people about animal activism you can run into fucking dickheads that just throw their cigarette buds out on the street that are inconsiderate there's a lot of things that can just you can come across that annoy you but it, it all comes from this expectation that things should be a certain way and y you just end up getting frustrated that they aren't. Mm. And if you just learn acceptance that, again, life doesn't owe you anything. It's all a pointless fucking game that you can never win. And you just learn to accept the things that come at you. Um, you're going to be a lot happier mm. and you're going to spare yourself a lot of misery. Yeah. And if you just learn that the anger and hurt and pain inside that you have all the time just comes from within, it's not from anyone else. The way you react to bad situations, um, it's entirely your fault for feeling that way. 
if somebody cuts in line, if somebody cuts you off on the road, you can either look at it as, why the fuck did that person do that? Why did they do that to me? Why is this happening to me? It should be this way. Or you could look at it as, wow, people are stupid. That's funny that they did that. Like, there are so many bizarre people doing bizarre things, getting upset for no reason, and you learn to just laugh at it. Uh, you're going to be a lot happier. And I've just learned in that last mushroom trip that, um, again, nothing matters. Nothing matters. Life is a stupid, pointless game that you can't win. And the only way you can win at life is to just learn to enjoy it. Yeah. And um, there is a lot you can enjoy. Literally just staring at a wall. If you stare at it for long enough, you will see shapes and colors and start thinking about things that are funny, that are interesting, that are entertaining. Um, and just ignore anything that bothers you and don't let that hurt and pain and frustration boil up. Uh, it's, it's all a matter of perspective. And it, it's, it's something that's very fucking hard to learn. I, I've taken probably close to a hundred grams of magic mushrooms total. Um, I, I started experimenting with magic mushrooms like uh, maybe five, six, seven years ago. After all of those psychedelic trips and after trying meditation, after trying therapy, I've finally, I think I finally cracked the code to my depression. And um, yeah, since last week when I did that mushroom trip, I felt pretty damn good. Like, um, I was watching. You I, I'm not going to say man. that oh I my never. God, man, it was great. I'm not going to say that I don't get frustrated at things. Mm. Um, there ha like <clears throat> the debate I had with, uh, you know, um, what's his name? I did get a bit frustrated, but it was a different type of frustration. I was enjoying the frustration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, again, it, it's life is a game. Yeah, life is a fucking game. Your life doesn't matter. Everything around you is stupid and pointless, and you can try to rationalize things to to mean something to matter. Nothing fucking matters. Just learn to embrace nihilism. Learn that nothing matters. Nothing, even your life. If you fucking die tomorrow, it doesn't matter. It's not a tragedy. It, it, it's just something that fucking happens, and you're going to have to accept all of these things that happen to you, and if you just look at it from that perspective, you can just learn to fucking laugh at it. Laugh at, you know, a nail getting driven into your... <laughs> in, like, I, the, the amount of pain that I've experienced. Like, yeah. um, I, I had a circumcision uh, as an adult, and the stupid-ass doctor didn't give me the proper, like, <laughs> sedation for it, and it hurt like fucking crazy. That was the most painful experience Ugh. I've ever had. Learn to laugh at it, okay? Pain yeah. is a tickle from the universe. <laughs> like, e even just thinking about physical pain in a different way. Um, I, I think people let their thoughts kind of run. And rather than just getting driven by whatever feelings you have, learn to think about what you're feeling and analyze it. Even the physical pain you feel, even if it's tremendous, you'll learn to laugh at it. Um, I've experienced horrible, horrible childhood abuse. And all the pain and frustration from that, it is gone. I don't care anymore. I, I don't care that my parents didn't love me enough. I don't care that I was lonely as a kid and didn't have any friends growing up. I, I don't care that I was bullied, that I was pushed into like hockey and screamed and yelled at. That's fine. Um, the people who did that to you, uh, they were abused too. And there's the cycle of abuse that, um, has caused them to, to be this way. They're as much victims as you are. And you can just learn to break that cycle of abuse and violence and hate and just learn to laugh at the, the universe. Because again, nothing matters. Everything is fucking stupid. There's no point to anything. There's no victory to be had you're going to fucking die and what it, like why are you mad why are you getting pissed off that you can't pay the rent this month why are you being anxious about it 
whether you pay the rent or not, you're going to fucking die. So just be happy that you were able to live in an apartment for as long mm. as you were. So yeah. like that's I, I don't know how to make people um, internalize that. I, I think it's something that you have to actually experience for yourself. I'm not saying psychedelic mushrooms are good for everybody. Um, they're probably not. There is a big risk of uh, suffering permanent severe psychosis and developing schizophrenia. But that's what I needed to like finally realize all of this. And my life is so much fucking better because of that. And it's so hard to fully internalize nihilism. It is really fucking hard. We're, we're taught, and I think it's just something evolution and, and biological in us for us to think anything matters. It doesn't. Just try your hardest through meditation or whatever to fully embrace nihilism and just realize hmm. nothing matters. And I think people who suffer from chronic ego. depression like I like I had my entire life, if you just learn that and fully internalize nihilism, you'll be so much better off. I really appreciate you saying everything there. I agree with essentially everything you've said. I've um, been very interested in Eastern philosophy, particularly Buddhism, for quite a while um, since a teenager. I'm so glad that I was because it's helped me in so many ways.